In this tutorial, we'll look at another algebraic method for solving a system of equations. Our last one was called substitution. We substituted one equation into the other. This one is called elimination, and I'll show you why. Example. Solve this system of equations. 2x plus 3y equals 20. And 2x minus y equals negative 4. Again, we have two equations and two unknowns. Now, could we solve this by graphing? Yes, if we graphed them both on the same grid, wherever they intersect would be our solution. And if we had an answer, could we confirm it by plugging into each of these equations? Yeah, that works perfectly too. Could we use substitution to solve it algebraically? You betcha. It's not a really obvious one to use substitution, but we could solve for this y and substitute it into the other equation. So, we already have lots of ways to solve a system of equations. But this one will prove useful in some situations. So it's just another tool for us to use. Note that we have 2x in each equation. So we can use that fact to eliminate both of the two x's, like this. All of the x's in one column, and the y's in one column, and the constants in one column. Now, we notice that if we were to subtract the first column, it would eliminate the x's. But to subtract, we need to change the signs of all of the terms in the second equation. And this will make the two x's disappear. It's common to just circle the changed signs, so we can keep track of which ones we've changed. It sometimes gets confusing otherwise. So in the first column, we have 2x minus 2x is 0. Perfect. The x's are gone. They're eliminated. In the next column, we have 3y plus y equals 4y. And in the last column, we have 20 plus 4 equals 24. And we have an equation with only one variable, and we can solve that. To finish things off, we just solve for our y. We see that we're multiplying by 4, so divide by 4, and we have y equals 6. But we're not done. We need to solve for the x to provide a complete solution, that is, an ordered pair. So plugging 6 into either equation, same as when we did substitution, let's use the second equation. And we solve. Add 6 to both sides, and we have 2. We divide by 2, and we have x equals 1. So our full solution is 1, 6, or x equals 1, and y equals 6. Solve this system of equations. 3x plus 4y equals negative 5, and 5x plus 2y equals negative 6. Again, we have two equations and two unknowns. Now this one we could solve by substitution, but it would be quite messy. So elimination is definitely preferred. It's not going to be easy no matter which way we do it, but let's give it a try. We note that we could multiply this second equation by 2, and then we would have 4y in both equations and we could eliminate it then. Let's give it a try. This second equation multiplied by 2 would be 10x plus 4y equals negative 12. Then we line up the equations and columns just like this, and we subtract the second one. To subtract, we need to change the signs of all of the terms in the second equation and that will allow us to eliminate the four y's. We'll circle our change signs so we can keep track of which ones have been changed. And in the first column, we have 
3x minus 10x equals negative 7. In the second column, we have negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. Perfect. They're eliminated. And in the last column, we have negative 5 plus 12 equals 7. And we have an equation with one variable that we can solve. To finish this off, we see that we're multiplying by negative 7. So we'll divide by negative 7, and we get x equals negative 1. But we're not done. We need to solve for y to provide a complete solution here. Plugging x equals negative 1 into either equation will get us there. Let's choose the first, and we'll use brackets. 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3, and we'll add 3 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2. And we have to divide by 4, and we have y equals negative 2 over 4. And we notice that we could reduce this down to negative 1 half. So our solution for this system of equations is negative 1 comma negative 1 half, or x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 1 half. As our last example here, let's solve this system of equations. 2x minus 9y equals 8, and negative 5x plus 8y equals negative 20. Now this one would be messy no matter which method we used. Substitution would be very messy. But we do look at it and think that we could use elimination. But we would have to be strategic. We could multiply the first equation by 5 and the second by 2. Then they'd both have a 10x in them. We could also create a 72 with the y's, but that gets us into really big numbers. So I think cancelling the x's, making them both 10x, is the easier strategy. So the first equation, multiplied by 5, gives us 10x minus 45y equals 40. We multiplied every term in the equation by the same thing, that is 5, so it's the same equation. The second equation, multiplied by 2, gives us negative 10x plus 16y equals negative 40. And once again, it's the same equation. We multiplied every term by the same thing. We kept the scale balanced. So now that we have them, both with a 10x in there, let's line up the equations like this. And in this case, we can just add them. We don't even have to change the signs. The 10x and the negative 10x are going to cancel each other out already. So in the first column, we just add 10x plus negative 10x equals 0. Perfect. The x's have been eliminated. In the next column, we have negative 45y plus 16y equals negative 29y. And in our last column, we have 40 minus 40 equals 0. So, we have an equation with only one variable, and we can solve that. So, to finish off, we see that we're multiplying by negative 29, so let's divide both sides by negative 29. And we end up with y equals, well, 0 divided by negative 29 is 0. So, we have y equals 0. But we're not done. We go back to come up with an x. So plugging y equals 0 into either equation, and we'll come up with our x. Let's use the first equation. Plugging in 0 is perfect because 0 times 9 is 0, so that's simple. And we just have to divide by 2. And we get x equals 4. So our full solution is 4 comma 0 or x equals 4 and y equals 0.